Hello, you lovely ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Bangs, and today we're going to be showing off another CO. But for this particular entry, the War Room simply won't do. Because um, we need a Fog of War map. Now, Kartal is actually working on a bunch of uh, exclusive War Room maps for each of the COs. He's made one for Misa Yuderchan, one for Itlog and one for Sky, and he's working on a bunch of others. He's, the goal is to, I don't know if he's gonna do it, but the goal is to have at least one unique War Room map per CO. These are gonna be really hard and really cool, just like any map that Kartal makes. However, I'm not gonna play these until they're all done. I'm gonna save that for a full Let's Play uh, once the ROM releases. I want you guys to have a chance to experience these War Rooms for yourself without getting spoiled. Uh, and as I said, yeah, one, one of these War Rooms, I do believe Missile Swamp is Fog of War. However, uh, I want a Fog of War map, because the CO that we'll be showing off today is a Fog of War CO. So I'm going to be playing on the Versus map, First Strike. This is imported from Advanced Wars by Web. We have a bunch of really cool maps in this ROM, and there's going to be a bunch more added. And I'm not going to play as Orwell. I'm actually going to be playing against Orwell, because I believe the best way to showcase Orwell's annoying abilities is to actually play against him. You'll see what I mean once we get into the game. He is probably one of the more unique COs in this game. So I'm going to be playing as Alice, because I believe she will uh, she will show how annoying Orwell can be really well. And uh, yeah, we'll just play a regular versus mode match. And uh, yeah, so um, let's take a look at Orwell, shall we? He does actually have unique music. You'll hear it on the next face. So a black hole robot mo remodeled by Andy. Somehow he became even more troublesome. Hit doxing, Miss Paradoxes. So his day to day is opponents lose ten percent of their income and their units have minus one vision. Orwell's vision is unaffected by other Orwells. His normal power is surveillance. Three stars. Units can see into hidden tiles in fog of war. Enemy units lose another tile of vision. His superpower interception allows him to also see into fog of war but enemy vision is actually reduced to one across the board. Now you understand why I had to play Fog of War for this uh, CO. And also because I want to play against him. Uh, reason being is the AI cheats in Fog of War, so the reduced vision isn't really going to hurt them as much. However, we'll be going up against him, so you'll just see. Look at our infantry. We have one vision. So he is this game's Sonya. Yes, that's his team. We'll, we'll get to hear more of it once his turns get longer. But uh, yeah, so he is essentially this game's Sonya, except that uh, he hampers enemy vision rather than increasing his own, which I think is a pretty cool take on the Fog of War CO. Like, minus one day-to-day -day vision in Fog of War is hellish to go up against. Just look how weak my infantry are. Now, Alice does have the ability to hide her infantry in cities, uh, which is very strong in Fog of War. But Orwell's normal power negates those powers, so he's a pretty good pick against Alice. Speaking of Alice, we've made some changes to her. Now she just gets a static 25% defense on her infantry on her normal power and a static 50% bonus to her infantry on her superpower. So her infantry is just harder to kill once she pops her powers, but she really needs this. Uh, she no longer has weak recons and submarines. Uh, we figured since she is a like undercover stealth CO, it made sense for her recons and submarines to not be weaker because these are like scouting... Uh, infiltration units, which, you know, kind of fits Alice's gimmick. She's not better. Uh, they're, not, they're not better, but they're just not weak. And you may notice, yeah, our income is indeed lower, 4,500. So Orwell kind of works a little bit like a, a reverse Sasha. He just hampers the enemy's value by 10%. So even outside of Fog of War, he does have some merit. I would say he's still pretty bad, though. Like, that's the only thing he gets. I don't believe any of his powers have any effect in, uh, in uh, Fog of War. What we could do, and this is something we could put, consider doing, is we could make it so that when he pops his powers in uh, outside of Fog, he creates Fog of War for a turn. Uh, but I still don't see why anyone would pick Orwell outside of Fog of War. Unless you're playing, like, a big free-for-all battle or something like that. So... I mean, it's kind of annoying. If you have multiple Orwells present in one map, by the way, uh, you will actually get... I think they stack, so if there's like three Orwells and one player in a free-for-all game, I think you get 30% less income. Which, uh, yeah, that sounds pretty bad. Pretty annoying to go up against. But his powers won't do anything, so... I don't know how effective that's gonna be. So, uh, I could build a lander, or I could wait for my transport copter. There is a base here. Uh, that makes me think that having a lander might not be such a bad idea, so... I'm gonna try and get myself 
I'm gonna try and get myself a lander, even though they're pretty expensive. Now, a lot of people have been asking, Manx, why don't you balance naval combat in Manx Van's words? I want to, I really do. Uh, I, I really want to change the units around, but here's the thing about this hack. I wanted this to be a hack that just feels like Advanced Wars 2 with unique COs. I think if we start changing the units around, it becomes something entirely different. Now, some people may enjoy that, and I agree, it would be very enjoyable to balance naval combat. But, at the same time, the whole concept of this hack was Advanced Wars 2, but with COs made by the community. And I feel like if we change the C uh, if we change the core game too much, it stops feeling like Advanced Wars 2. And it kind of takes me away from what I originally envisioned this game would be. Now keep in mind, when this game started, I thought maybe we'd do like one unique CO and play us, like one make one video playing us that unique CO. I never in a million years expected us to actually make a full-fledged hack. There's even talks, we even want to like make a campaign at some point. So. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna go get that base now, and looks like Orwell is attacking us. So you can see just how bad our vision is, it's insane. Luckily, Alice does have stronger infantry, so she's pretty strong in infantry on infantry engagements. But I do need a recon. Now, recons are still good for vision, even with Orwell, they can still scout. But our infantry are practically blind, which is actually incredibly annoying to go up against. And Gatita Sexy keeps telling me I need to build more tanks as Alice, so I'm gonna build more tanks as Alice. After all, there's no point in draining ammo from the enemy if you're not gonna follow it up with vehicles. And yeah, look at that. We got recons. Yeah, of course, the AI cheats in Fog of War, everyone knows this. Which, uh, just why I didn't want to play as Orwell, because it wouldn't really... Oh, come on. Yeah, see that shit? <laughs> see that shit? Oh my goodness, this is, uh, this is very annoying. This is very annoying. Now, I don't know if Orwell has quotes, actually. I forgot to check. I hope he does. It's a little bit sad we won't get to see his victory quote. I guess I could, like, surrender, but that would just show a defeat quote, I think. But yeah, let's uh, get some more tanks onto the field. I do think we need a recon up north as well. Hmm. I think I can kill that recon now. No, actually, no, I cannot. Oh, actually, yes, I can. Boom. Goodbye, recon. You have reconned your last. Okay, let's move over here and see what we can see. Some cities. Now, keep in mind, Alice only conceals infantry in her own city. Look at that shit. Look at that. Oh my god, I can't see shit. Yeah, I, I can't see anything. It's actually a really bad bonus, like, a really annoying thing to go up against. I think playing against Orwell on, uh, in, like, PvP battles is going to be hellish, I think. But yeah, I'm just gonna emulate the Tordred playstyle and build tanks. <laughs> okay, I heard a Bottocopter. And that's, uh, that's an artillery. Okay, good thing he didn't, uh... He didn't do anything there. Uh, I might just be able to go for an HQ cap, actually. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, what the hell? I was a. Really? I thought I. I, I thought I would should. Oh, oh, never mind. Alice has weak vehicles. I was like, that damage was kind of sus, you know. Like I, I felt like I should have done more damage there, but yeah, Alice does have, I think, minus ten percent firepower in her tanks. Yeah, she does. She's similar to Sami in that regard. So, let's kill this infantry right here. And yeah, we're, we'll keep this guy on the uh, we'll keep this guy on the mountain. I think that's probably okay. And I think yeah, we need Antire. It could have been a transport copter, I heard, but probably still not a bad idea to build an Antire. I think. Okay, he's guarding his HQ. Can I just go for the HQ cap? I think I can just go for the HQ cap. But I want to show off his powers, so... I'm probably not gonna finish the kill. Wow, okay, that was quick. Wow, okay. He might interrupt it. We'll see. Oh, hi there, mech. Maybe that was not the best engagements I could have made, but... I want to see him pop his power, at least. I was... I didn't expect to beat him this quickly, but again, this is a balanced PvP map, so... I'm not exactly surprised that the AI doesn't fight particularly well on it. 
Anyway, this is a really cool map. I, I think it's been a while since this map was in the map pool. I don't remember playing any games on it on Monster Spy Web. It's a cool map. They're very small, though. I think that might be... Okay, it definitely has vehicles. Okay, so I'm not going to finish this cap. Because, again, I want to see him pop his power at least once. If I keep ramming my tanks into his mechs, I'm sure he'll pop the power. Yeah, he has it right now. So I guess I'll just do nothing and let him pop it. Let's see if he has any quotes. I'm all revved up. I don't think we gave him quotes. Surveillance. Uh... And yeah, look at that. We lost a bunch of vision. Okay, interesting. He actually went... Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. So, look at my vision. <laughs> Three vision. One vision on tanks. Uh, you can't go below one vision on your infantry. It would have been kind of cool, but... Alright. Those are some nice vehicles. Would be a shame if anything happened to them. Do, do, do. There's something I actually want to test with Alice. I want to test whether or not her ammo drain works against battlecopters. I guess I won't really be able to see, though, unless I get a recon up here. Because I'm going to die on the... Oh, actually, no, I will not. Oh, looks like she got her weird symbol again. Wait. No, it's just the capture symbol. I'm stupid. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, no, she cannot drain. She cannot drain ammo from vehicles or from air aircraft. It doesn't work like that, sadly. Or, I guess, luckily, depending on who you ask. But oh my god, look at my vision here. Oh my goodness. But yeah, the extra defense on our infantry during power is nice. I think it, it becomes 35, I think, in total, because she gets a 10% bonus. So 35% defense on our infantry during, during power, that's that's pretty good. Like, that, that makes her infantry incredibly hard to kill. So that is actually pretty good. So yeah, short preview. I didn't actually expect this video to be so short. Mission but, complete. you know, the, the purpose of these videos is just to showcase the CO, so I guess that will do. Like taking candy from a baby. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Orwell. Uh, uh, don't worry, there will be a pretty cool War Room map, I think, later on with him, where you get to play against him. So I'm sure Kartal will, like, I can imagine, like, Kartal designing a map around Orwell. Probably one of the most annoying things. Uh, ever, considering you won't have any vision. It's probably gonna include like tons of forests and whatnot. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Again, these maps right here, I haven't played them personally, but the testers have, and these maps are really fun to play, so uh, I think Manx Vance is going to be a really cool hack. And yes, there will be secret seals that you can unlock as well. We actually have a couple planned, because there's some unused slots in the ROM. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this very short preview of Orwell. My name is Tim Mengs, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!